dark outside. Okay, anyways, hey my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to another morning coffee with me, Morgan Tracy J. I know you see the background, I know you see how dark it is outside right now, but actually I'm here in my office and I've been editing a video um, for my mentorship masterclass. Come and talk to you guys about it real quick. Excuse the mess of hair and tiredness and just looking exhausted, smeared makeup, okay? I want to talk to you about fighting for your word, okay? God gave somebody, hopefully you, a word for 2023. And I don't know about you guys, but it's so easy to get all excited and built up. Oh, God gave me the word elevation. God gave me the word strength. God gave me the word next level. God gave me the word takeover. But then when your reality of your life starts not looking like the word God gave you, you can start to believe that God's word is not going to come to pass now. I want to tell you, we're in the second month of the word of the Lord, okay? God gave you a word for 2023. And just because your circumstances does not look like the word, I want to give you a word today that you have to fight for your word, okay? I'm saying this because God gave me the word next level for 2023. He gave me this for my ministry, for my life, next level. And real quick, in January of 2023, nothing looked next level. Actually, it looked below the level. And I remember looking at things and I'm like, God, God, why does this not look like the word you gave me? Nothing looks next level. And you know something the Lord said is you have to fight for your word. When you see something coming against the very word I gave you, you've got to come against that. The thing that tries to conquer you, you have to choose to conquer it. The reason I'm saying this is because I'm sitting here with my mentorship and these last few days I said, God, this doesn't look next level. Something about this does not look like the word you gave me. It looks like last year's level. It looks like last year's mentality, last year's faith, last year's work ethic, last year's like just quickly throwing things together, getting it in last minute. God, this doesn't look like next level work to me. And you know what the Lord said? will make it next level. I didn't have no ideas though. I'm like sitting here like, I'm just gonna do this quick workbook. I'm just gonna do this quick thing. And quickly the Lord started to give me ideas that flowed and he started showing me what next level looked like how to create next level, how to show up next level, like the word he gave me. And I realized that the issue was not that I didn't have the ideas. The issue was that I was okay with the current level I have been at. I was okay with last year's word. I was okay with last year's work ethic. I was okay with last year's faith. But the moment God is calling me to fight for this year's word, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know how to fight at this year's level, at this year's word, in this year's grace, in this year's faith. I don't know. So the Lord said, I need you to start fighting for your word. So the moment you see, let's say if your word was elevation, and the moment you see yourself not elevating, you got to come back and you got to say, hey, how can I get into a stance that elevates because I'm going after the word God gave me. So somebody might have got a word of strength and you might be noticing you have been weaker than ever. You have been questioning yourself more than ever. You have to know how to fight for your word. So I'm going to tell you, when you start seeing things in your life that don't align to the word, you got to come against it. So let's say your word was elevation and you notice your life is not elevating. You have to come against that moment of lack and say, okay, I need to make a new plan. I got to get a new strategy. I got to get a new prayer life so I can elevate to the level God called me to go to. I want to tell you right now, I'm in here at night because usually I try to get out here by five. I'm on the couch with Monty J. I'm chilling, but God showed me something. He said, this work is going to require a next level work. This word is going to require a next level faith. I I know you want to go home and get on the couch and chill, but there is something in front of you that if you come up to a new level, you will experience your word. I want to tell somebody right now, your word is outside of your comfort zone. So the normal schedule you've been walking in and the routine that you've been building, God said your word is on the other side of that. So if you're not experiencing the word, it's because you're still at last year's level of faith, last year's work ethic. I'm saying all this because I'm here. It's kind of late. This is the latest I've been here in a while. And I'm actually editing and I realized the video that I thought I recorded and screen recorded, it never recorded my screen. It only recorded me. And I'm like, gosh, God, what am I going to do? And then it was like, hold on. This is next level though, right? Even the content you were producing was next level, right? So that means you've got to edit appropriately 
but then you got to sit down and re-record it. You can't just push that aside and say, oh, well, we'll just figure that out next month and next week and next. No, no, no. Let's figure it out tonight. Let's push it to the side. If I've got to jump online real quick and re-record it, let's do it. And actually, it's going to be better now because you already walked through it. So you've already done it before. So it's going to get even better. I want to tell you that's a next level faith. So I don't know what your word is for 2023, but I'm encouraging you today to fight for your word. If you have been noticing that the word of the Lord is not coming to pass and it's actually looking opposite of what he gave you, I want to encourage you to start fighting for your word, sis. I want you to start going into your prayer room for your word. I want you to start going into your home and speaking that word day in and day out. I want you to stay up, stop what you're doing and get into a quick prayer and start speaking the word. I need you to go look back at your journal notes and remember the words of the Lord. You know, I need sometimes I have to pull up my phone tab and I have to look back at the visions that God gave me and the words he spoke to me about being in this place because sometimes I'm here and I don't know really if this is next level, but I'm having faith. But then I go back to the very promises and the word and I'm like, okay, I'm at next level. Show me, show me what that looks like, Lord. Continue to reveal yourself. So I want to tell you right now, I'm fired up, although I got to get back to editing and all this good stuff. It's getting late. I need to get home. I need to finish editing. I need to do all this. But I thought I would show up right now and tell you, sis, it is time to go to your next level. It's time to fight for your word. The word of the Lord that God gave you for this year, you are going to have to fight for it. That doesn't mean you have to get in the ring physically and punch something, but that means you got to get in there spiritually. That means the moment you see something coming against the word of the Lord, you got to come against that. You mean that means the moment you realize something is trying to conquer you, you got to come against what's trying to conquer you. Sis, okay, I'm coming for your edges. I'm coming for the lashes. I'm coming for you completely because I don't know somebody out there ain't been fighting for their word. And you know what? I lead multiple teams and I remember I had to tell the girl on my team, hey, this does not look like the word God gave me. So we got to scratch that and go back to the drawing board because I got to see the word of the Lord. I want to encourage you, sis, fight for your word. Even if it doesn't make sense at times, even if no one understands you, even if you are even scared to explain what the word is and what you're doing, I want to encourage you to fight for your word, daughter of God. I know it's dark outside right now, but I'm just still want to empower you for the week because I want you to fight for your word. I pray you start this week with a zeal and a strength and you walk every day saying, does this look like the word that God gave me? Does this represent the word God gave me? Am I walking the way in the word that the Lord gave me? I want to ask you that today. I just want to encourage you with that so much. I also will say, if you are somebody who's like, I really, really want more. I want more. I want to learn more. I want to go to deeper depths. I have a free guide. Click the link in the description box below. It's actually something I was working on this last night, putting things together. I didn't even plan to record this video, but it just felt like it went together because if you're going to fight for your word, I want you to see something that I did that was next level. Okay. This was something that made me fight for my word. I mean, stayed up till three in the morning fighting to make that word come to pass. Okay. Fighting for that word that I'm going to see this next level in the content I create. So I want you to click that guide. I want you to get it because I want you to see how you can fight for your next level. And this was just, just look at, just look at how I've tried to elevate and go and then be like, I see what she's saying. Okay. Hopefully this God helps you. Okay. I, that's all I got to say about that. I hope it blesses you and just helps you on your journey. And especially if you're someone in business or ministry and you're just wanting to evolve and grow, I have a powerful guide for you, but I kind of wanted to give you a glimpse of my next level inside of my mentorship. Okay. For free. Just wanted to give you a glimpse of that because I just think what's better way than to go at it next level. Okay. Like what better way than to fight for your word than for me to show you, look, look this is me fighting for the word that God gave me. So ladies, I'm tired. Let me get back to editing. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.